The Democratic Republic of Congo is suffering from armed conflicts that are now targeting civilians. In the past two weeks, Islamic militants from the Allied Democratic Forces have killed more than 40 civilians in North Kivu province, most of them women and children. Medical personnel reported that 76 civilians were also taken hostage by the Ugandan militia that has operated in Ituri region of Congo since the 1990s. For more on these attacks, I'm joined live via Skype by Ntal Alimasi, a governance and anti-corruption specialist. Mr. Alimasi, welcome back to Africa 54. Thank you, Esther. So what is being done to safeguard the welfare of civilians in Ituri? That's the $1 million question. Because at this point, um, we know that uh, the government of the DRC has called upon, uh, I mean, has authorized the um, the UPDF to come and um, fight the um, uh, the ADF on Congolese territory. But since um, a while, um, the uh, Ugandan um, army has ceased giving updates as to what they are doing, how they are doing what has been done with the rebels, and so on and so forth. Um, and uh, the FA, FARDC, meaning the DRC army, have, have not been giving updates either. So people really don't know what's going on in, in this point. What I can tell you for sure is that um, for observers that we are, the DRC has made a big, big mistake, actually, uh, starting in uh, uh, in November of last year, when the DRC allowed um, the Ugandan forces to come on its soil. Because at that point, if you remember well, in November, that's when uh, there were three bombings in Kampala. Mm -hmm. uh, people at this point in the DRC believe that uh, the um, uh, the ADF that I mean was is in the DRC or was in the DRC has always been in DRC for uh, predatory reasons, and, but mm -hmm, by right. you know pre, you know just uh, trying to get uh, you know um, minerals and uh, you know uh, timber whatever they could put their hands on, yeah, but from the moment right. they allowed Uganda to come in, so they. They made themselves part Nta, of that. Ntal, very quickly, what's the impact of uh, this conflict on the civilian population? Um, it's very dire because, I mean, people are dying. Um, there's no movement of people around anymore. Um, I can see at the point where uh, whenever there is a um, uh, some people coming from North Kivu, which is really very close to Ituri, Going into the Turi region, there's uh, there's fighting. Of course, that goes with the occupation of the land that the ADF has done. Mm -hmm. So um, you know, and of course, uh, the uh, the Congolese population is very very upset about it. It's um, you know calling on the government to show what the um, state of siege has um, has produced so far, and um, I think it's having some great impact as to what people expect from the elections next right. year. Right. Ntal, I think we'll have to leave it there. Hope for peace and hope that uh, President Shisekedi and Museveni can have discussions on this. Ntal Alumasi is a governance and anti-corruption specialist and a native of DRC.